Good morning. Today's lesson is 8.3. Model and solve addition equations. Our essential question, how can you use models to solve addition equations? You can use algebra tiles to help you find the solutions of equations. Our algebra tiles, our x is going to be represented by the green bar and our numbers are going to be represented by the small white square. Thomas has two dollars. He wants to buy a poster that costs seven dollars. Model and solve the equation x plus two equals seven to find the amount x in dollars that Thomas will need to save in order to buy the poster. So first we're going to draw two rectangles on our math board to represent the two sides of the equation. Then we're going to use the algebra tiles to model the equation. Model x plus two, so x plus two, in the left triangle, or rectangle, and then model seven in the right. So seven is gonna be in the right. So if you remember, X was gonna be represented by a green bar, and my, I don't wanna do white, so I'll do, I'm gonna do blue for my numbers. So if that's X, I have one, two singles, and on this side, I'm gonna have seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So what type of tiles and numbers did you use to model x plus two? Well, I used one x tile and two one tiles. So there's my one x tile and my two one tiles. Now, to solve the equation to get the x tile by itself on one side, you need to remove a tile from one side so that you can keep two sides equal by removing the same tile from both sides. So whatever I do to this side of the equation, I have to do this side of the equation. So if I remove this tile, I need to remove this tile. I remove this tile, I remove this tile. Because remember, my ultimate goal is to get x alone. So to get this x alone, I need to remove both of these. And if I'm removing two from this side, then I need to remove two from this side. So how many tiles do I need to remove from each side to get the x by itself? Well, that would be two. So when the x tile is by itself on the left side, how many um, one tiles are gonna be on the right side? Well, what's gonna be left is five tiles. So now we're gonna write the solution of the equation. It is x equals five. So Thomas needs to save $5 in order to buy the poster. Use appropriate tools. Describe how you could use your model to check your solution. Well, use the algebra tiles to model the equation. Then replace the x tile with the five one tiles. If the solution is correct, then both sides of the model should have the same number of tiles. Number two, tell how you can use algebra tiles to model the equation x plus four equals eight. Place an x tile and four one tiles on one side of the math board and then eight one tiles on the other side. Number three, think smarter. What would you do to solve the equation x plus nine equals 12 without using a model? So remember the goal is to get the x alone. And since it's plus nine on this side, I'd subtract nine from this side. And if I subtract nine from this side, I'd have to subtract nine from this side. So subtract nine from both sides, and that's how you would do it without a model. Making connections. You can solve an equation by drawing a model to represent algebra tiles. Let a rectangle represent the variable, and then let the small squares represent the one. So let's solve the equation x plus three equals seven. So on, I'm gonna first put my equal sign. And on this side of the question, I have x, which remember we said it was going to be a rectangle. And I have three one tiles, so those are gonna be squares. One, two, three. And then I have seven individual squares on this side of the equation. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Step two, get the variable by itself on one side of the model by doing the same thing to both sides. So in order to get this variable alone, I have to get rid of these three. So one, two, three. So now my X is alone on this side. Whatever I do to one side, I have to do the other side. So I have to get rid of one, 
two, three on this side. So I'm going to cross out three squares on the left and three squares on the right. Step three, draw a model of the solution. Well, I'm left with x on this side equals one, two, three. One, two, three single squares are left. So there is one rectangle on the left side and there are three squares on the right side. So the solution of the equation x plus three equals seven is x equals three. So if I'm using algebra tiles, um, I would have x plus five minus seven. So I wanna get rid of this plus five and in order to do that, I'm gonna have to take five of them away. And if I do that to this si that side, I have to do the same to this side. So now I'm left with x equals and seven minus five is two. So x equals two. So over here I have eight equals x plus one. To get the x alone, I have to get rid of the plus one. So I have to subtract one tile from this side. Whatever I do to one side of the equation, I have to do the other. So that means I have to subtract one tile from here. Now I've gotten rid of that one and x minus one is seven. So I get seven equals x. Over here I have x plus two. Again, I wanna get the x alone, so that means I have to get rid of the plus two. So I subtract two from this side, and I'm gonna subtract two from this side. Now I've, got, I've crossed out those two tiles, and I've got five tiles minus two tiles, so I'm gonna get three tiles. So I'm left with x equals three. So again, if you've got the tiles in front of you, if we've got little pieces of paper, whatever you can do to kind of help <coughs> model this. But I have x plus six equals eight. In order to get the x alone, I have to get rid of the plus six. So I'm gonna subtract six tiles. So I'm gonna, um, from the eight, I'm gonna subtract six tiles because whatever I do to one side, I have to do to the other side. So now I'm left with x equals, and eight minus six is two. I'm gonna do the next one over here. So we've got five plus x equals nine. So whatever I do to one side, I have to do the other side, right? So if I've got my positive five here, I'm gonna subtract five tiles. So that means I have to subtract five tiles from this side and I'm left with x equals four. I'm gonna do, actually, I'm gonna leave this one on your own. So I'd like you to do the rest of these on your own and I will be on the carpet if you need me as always. Good luck.